Greetings, beloved. I am Bishop Andy C. Luton. I'd like to welcome you to my five-minute Bible study. This week, I am continuing my discussion on the disciples of Jesus Christ. So, go get a writing utensil so that we can get started. Today's lesson is on the Apostle Philip. Let's begin with a look at this disciple's name, Philip. The name Philip literally means he who loves horses. In terms of general information, Philip was born in Bethsaida as found in John 1.44. He was well versed in scripture as indicated in John 1.45 and 46. Sometimes this Philip is confused with Philip the Evangelist that is discussed in the book of Acts. They are two different people. Most scholars agree that Philip probably spoke Greek as suggested in John 20 and 21. Now, let's take a look at the personality of Philip. According to John 6 and 7, Philip was practical. He was also helpful, as found in John 12 and 20. Finally, we see in John 14 and 8 that Philip was literal and confused. Let me share with you some of the encounters that Philip had with Jesus. They include, he was the third disciple called by Jesus, and we find that in John 1.43. He brought Nathanael to Jesus, John 1.45. Jesus tested him regarding the feeding of the multitude, John 6, verses 5 through 7. He informed Jesus that Greeks wanted to see him, John 12, 20 through 22. He asked Jesus to show him the Father, as found in John 14 and 8. And finally, Philip was present at the Last Supper, Matthew 26 and 20. Some of the information that we know about Philip that is not found in the Bible is that after Pentecost, he lived in what is the Ukraine today. Some stories suggest that he was crucified on a tall cross at Hierapolis of Phrygia, which is in Turkey today. The symbols that are strongly associated with Philip include loaves of bread and a tall cross. The lesson that we draw from the life of Philip is, all knowledge in the world does not compare to the truth found in Jesus. Well, friends, this takes up all of my time, and I certainly want to thank you for yours. If you would like, more material of this type, please visit my online Bible college at theologyonlinecampus.com. Each course consists of study notes and video lecture, such as the one that you're looking at, a final exam that is graded and returned to you immediately. Registration is free and course tuition is extremely modest. So again, I am Bishop Andy C. Luther thanking you for your time today. Please remember, God loves you, I love you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless.